Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Another ride today. We're heading out to Nordek. That's a uh, Highway 40, the regular crew. And let's hope it's gonna be a day of fun. It's uh, basically second time out this year. Coffee from Timmy's is a must. Okay, the custom right through the puddle, even though it is tiny. Oh my God, that is, that's not a puddle. <laughs> this is like a tragic situation. We gotta get used to it. Yeah, we, I, I just was on the gravel not that long ago, last week, but it wasn't that loose. It was loose, also looked like it was graded, but not like this. Might be muddy in some section, but... Gotta loosen up a bit. There's like a piece of muffler or something on the road. I see you guys. Now on a straight stretch. another 208 kilometers to go to Nordic on this crappy gravel <laughs> but yeah it is fun to getting used to the gravel and it's really really loose today it's good overall good practice for Idaho it is on a warmer side today front tire on my bike has to be replaced probably when I get home maybe even this weekend because uh, she's on the last leg uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video I did replace the rear one last year by the end of the season but I wanted to get some more riding out of the front so this is how it looks now that's a Moto Z Tractionator GPS and it has a uh, way over 20,000 kilometers on it right now Roberto ended up buying Bumot bags same as mine after long research many debates <laughs> ended up with Bumot and the beauty part on BMW R1200 GSA they fit on a stock rack so you don't have to really modify nothing Okay, 
that's a little bit better, not as much of a loose gravel. Keeping a good distance from the guys, this way I don't have as much dust either. It's a beautiful road, except for all that dust uh, that uh, when you're riding close together or when the big uh, trucks are passing by. After all, it is a logging road, or you can call it a forestry trunk road. And uh, up ahead we have a truck. Great. Or it's a camper, maybe. cloud of dust and the beautiful mountains are showing up right ahead peeking through the trees here sorry the mountains peeking through the trees and they disappeared over a sudden I was hoping to have the visual visual on that twisted out here That's a steep one. Where, where do you always want to go? guys so we're having a quick pit stop and at the same time filming Robert's uh, design on the windscreen that he designed for his uh, GSA uh, he will be trying to make that going for sale if uh, the video is ready I will put it on the channel at some point but right now it's a beautiful area here close to the river oh this is a red deer river and uh, here just behind us we this is the bridge that we just crossed i didn't look the mileage how much left we have but we are not in any rush just taking easy enjoying the beautiful scenery of alberta of course bogdan i missed it but he was throwing tossing rocks as usual of course that never fails for him
There's a fire pit for a campfire. So this is the spot for our lunch time and we have smokies on the menu today. Ukrainian and Polish sausages. The area that we chose is uh, quite spectacular. Should we start it? Yeah, no, давай. Should we там подложить? Oh, 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 it's going, it's going. Cool. Are you serious? Any more benzene? Shit, it's already burning, so it's gonna be. I don't want to pour it from the bottle because. Uh, you know what? Give me a piece of wood. I make it wet, because I don't want to get close with the gas to that stuff. Because that's gonna light up my dump with the whole bottle. No, it can't. Yeah, it's too much. Enough. It's too much. Wow! <laughs> you better get away with that gas can. <laughs> well, but easy with that fire because it's a dry season, eh? I'll be surprised if it's also in the other bag. There's always a stick, to be honest. Okay, no, no actual fork, camping fork, which is missing in action. This is not what I was looking for. I had a foldable one, two of them actually. And they're both in the other panniers. I don't need to get smoked. My sausage needs to get smoked. See, that's why I did it that way. <laughs> that was the reason, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna get burned. Uh, you know what you can do? You bring it to the river and wash it. So after having a little break and a bite to eat, it's time to head back on the road. So we're rolling again and uh, looks like we have another 150 kilometers to go to, uh, to Nordic itself. And then from then I have a feeling that's another solid three hours to get back home. So it's going to be a quite long day today by the time I get home, certain sections when we fly through. They're nice and brown and there's no dust. I wish the whole thing is like that. I'm not sure why they're putting that gravel here on that road. Like this, this part right here, it's not too bad at all because it's not thick, but some sections that gravel is pretty thick. And uh, we're pretty much going around 100 kilometers per hour on that stuff. And the bike is dancing around. It also depends on the wind, which direction the wind is blowing because if you have a if we have a side wind it's nice because all that dust is going towards to the side but if it's uh, the way it is right now that's blowing uh, just against us uh, oh no those are the wild horses mustangs hello horses they're beautiful Oh, we got those wild horses here again. Oh, they have a little one too. A little pony. Yeah, they're everywhere. There's quite a few of them here, I gotta say.
wow, look at all this forest it's all cut out. Steep going down. That's a tight one. And another one. 180. after three and we still have a quite a way before we can return to Calgary. The wind picked up like crazy. Well there is still snow here on the side. The last little bits. Like I've been seeing this mountains for quite some time and it seems like it's so far away. That's a steep one, holy shoot. the mountain goats laying down here. I'm just gonna go by them. Hey boys, don't run away. So we made it to Ram Falls just ahead of me here getting down this walkway it looks like it's an, be an awesome canyon it is amazing you can still see on the side the snow runoffs okay going down is easy <laughs> the only problem is that we will have to come up too <laughs> and it's gonna be a reveal very shortly we're in a provincial park so unfortunately not a drone area even if it was uh, not windy still can't fly it's a fall it's gonna be windy even the hamster is not gonna help Now that's the fun part, 
going up. But everything that goes up must come, must come down. <laughs> Just a few steps. Holy man, out of shape. Guy in the best shape. Oh, I like the smell. Ooh, it smells so nice. It was one of the last stops of the day. Ram Falls. And now it is time to head out to Nordic. Uh, 62 kilometers left. And uh, maybe we'll stop somewhere still for a coffee. So they're probably a little bit ahead of me because I told them to go because I didn't want it to ride in the dust So technically this ride should have been split in two days. This way you go a little bit like 150, 160 kilometers, set up the camp, chill out for the evening, have a couple of beers, light up a campfire, and then next day continue it. Uh, this way you don't have to rush it because uh, honestly, on this little stretch of the road, uh, which is like uh, close to 300 kilometers from home, uh, there is quite a few interesting things and uh, pullovers and we didn't stop at all of them, just uh, something that was more appealing from the road. As you see, it's uh, quite stunning heritage of Alberta. There's quite a few sharp turns here. Check the hip because it is burning after that spill. And uh, yeah, I didn't have a camera rolling, but I took a spill when I was making a corner, ended up in a bush right across the loose gravel. It didn't take much, just a little bit of break, and there, were, there I was sliding across there in the turn. like we're getting close to Nordic now. I got another six kilometers. So I have a feeling pretty soon we're gonna hit pavement. Oh, all right, so we're back on tar. Three kilometers left to Nordic. nice to be on a solid <laughs> so much more confidence <laughs> welcome to history Nordic oh there is a the miners cafe and a shell gas station and Bogus is there too
right, so we made it to Nordic, and that will be it for today. Just had a quick, co quick coffee and another 300 kilometers or so, maybe over, slightly over for me to get home. It was a blast, but it's time to wrap it up. If you like that video, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.